In this tutorial we'll be creating this particle transition which is basically a disintegration effect and it's fully procedural so any text you import or move the point of destruction of it's going to update automatically. And this also works on logos. Let's get right into it. Let's start off by creating our text and I'm going to center it in my composition. And the first thing you want to do is pre-compose it, move all attributes and now let's create a solid and we'll call this fractal and we'll add fractal noise to it and change the noise type to block. Now let's add another effect called colorama which is the main effect that is going to be causing the disintegration. Go into output cycles and let's move these colors around here sort of to the bottom and let's add another color here which is black just so we have some black squares in it which is important for this effect. Okay now one more thing we're going to add is turbulent displace and let's just scale down the size a bit and increase the amount. Okay, this will do. Let's hide this layer and go into our text composition and add the effect shatter. Here, let's change the view to rendered. And basically the shatter effect is an effect that obviously shatters anything you put into it. And it works in 3D, which is a pretty powerful effect and quite underrated, I would say and we're also going to be using it to disintegrate this text. Let's go into shape and change the pattern to costume and we select the fractal layer we created and make sure you select effects and masks. Set the extrusion depth to 0 because we don't need any depth here and the repetition to 1. Let's go into physics here and change the rotation speed to 0.1 and the mass to about 5. Okay, so as you can see, our effect is driven by this fractal noise we just created, but it's all over the place. So in order to control it, we're going to be using one of the forces here. So let's go to force 1, set the strength to 3, and basically the radius we set to 0.1, and this determines where the starting point is going to be from. So if we move this over here onto the left and hit play, you can see it's going to break in there, but stop. And in order to make it continuous, we're going to set a keyframe for the radius. Let's go to about 5 seconds here and increase it basically until everything is gone. Okay, and now if we play this through, you can see it's continuous and it just keeps breaking until it reaches the end. Now, we have it falling down here, but if you want it to go up, all you have to do is control the gravity direction. So we can rotate this to go up and maybe make it one so it's not as fast and this way it's just gradually going up and breaking the rest of the text or whatever you have under it. Now another cool thing about this effect is we have a second force so if we move the second point let's say over here and we're gonna do the same set the strength to 3 and the radius to 0.1 give it the same keyframe here you can see it's gonna start breaking from both directions which is just something you can do if you need it. Okay, so this is pretty much the effect. You can always go into your composition here, change the text to whatever you want, and it will automatically update it. You can insert logos, different videos if you want to. And yeah, one more thing to make this look extra nice once you're done is pre-compose everything and drop a pixel motion blur on it, which obviously makes everything look much nicer and smoother. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.